pick him on my all-star team, but instead you wanted to fail. Prepare for so battle. we have that. Uh, I guess I might as well go over the team. So Kuroki on the Juggernaut, Puppy, Sand King. No Tail playing the Oracle. That should be fun. S4 playing his Viper. I shouldn't say his Viper because I was actually expecting him to play the Magnus, but that will be played by Misery. Yeah, it's weird to see S4 in a team where he doesn't play Mag, but it should be interesting. Jotam will be playing as the Skyrath Mage versus Pro G, currently walking circles in the base on his Beastmaster. Visage by Yol, together with BZZ Gyro. And finally, the offlane, as probably expected, will be Sedoi on the Centaur. Now, nice set. Yeah, that set's really cool. Actually, it's just our head and axe. I don't think the rest is ours. Well, that's nice still. It still looks good, yeah. Almost. 30 seconds to battle. It's because they changed the name on me. It used to be called the Berserker's Edge. Now it's the Unbroken Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bad name. Okay, moving on. Speaking of cosmetics, Viper doesn't need cosmetics. He needs a remodel. <laughs> Misery's going to try to get this room, but there's too many, I feel. Of course, he could get a nice juicy begins. skewer. Oh, if he could God, skewer that would be so cliff. sick. Please. All right, not ballsy enough. Skyrath Mage gets that one, and Puppy the Trade other. Of bounties. That is actually, we've talked about the bounty room being so good early game. I think on somebody like Sand King, that is ridiculously good. You get a fast level three, yep. go into the jungle even earlier. I mean, that's really big. It's one of the best heroes in the game, I think, even to get fast levels on. So. I really like Secret's choice of giving it to Puppy. I think that's the exact reasoning as well. They could have given it to the Juggernaut, but doesn't really need it. And I, I'm just looking forward to seeing what crazy build Kuro does this game. <laughs> you remember his Jugger yesterday? I do. <laughs> I don't know. For the yesterday. ones that didn't see the game yesterday, he went max attack speed. He had Mask of Madness, Mjolnir, Manta, and Butterfly. It was full glass cannon. If you were to do that worked. this game, do you think that would work again or no? I think this game is just as good to do it as the previous one, to be honest. But... And one he also skilled period. differently. <laughs> one skill, one point each skill, and then five in stats when he was level nine. No tail healing himself up. There's no way I'm gonna call any of his skills by the proper name. I'm gonna call it uh, purgy thing, healy, damagey thing, magic immune thing, and invisible baratar. You can call levels... Fate's edict. You can call that scroll. That really is a scroll. Okay. I won't you call that. it Scroll Ball and Meteor. Scroll Ball. Meteor? Kind of looks like a Meteor on the icon, right? Oh, just based on the icon. Okay, okay, fine. So do I get some nice levels? Level 2 at the moment. Misery, still at level 1, getting completely zoned out by Skyrath. He's forced to pop his, his health pop pretty early on. S4 in the mid lane, 8 to 1 versus the Beastmaster, 7 and 2. Pretty even. Do you think this has to do with, I mean, generally speaking, Viper is ridiculously good against melee. But the fact that you get the boar at level 1, how much of a difference does that make? It makes a big lane? difference. It really does. This boar is pretty good. It currently at level 3, it slows S4 down to 225 move speed, and he has to spend time hitting the boar. And that means G can last it at the same time. So, it's a very nice addition to Beastmaster, and I love the fact that VP did this with the lanes, because I think... Um, what were the options? We were talking about Centaur mid or Clock. Both of them would have been run over by Viper, but mm -hmm. Beast has a pretty good shot. And BZZ is going to be getting all the free farm he wants thanks to the zoning capabilities of both these support heroes. Um, Max still level 1, poor guy. He was forced to use a Shockwave too, so he doesn't have any mana. He has no escapability, so he did go level 1 Shockwave. I guess that's like either or situation. Would you prefer sh uh, Skewer in this situation? Considering how much he's getting zoned out, or would that not really make much of a difference? Wouldn't really make much of a difference, I think, because he doesn't know what Jotam has skilled, and I think Jotam skilled the Concussive Shot after he saw he had Shockwave. Else he could just skill the Silence, and then whenever Misery tries to last uh -oh. hit, he would just get Silence. Yeah, this could be First Blood. They know this missile is going to take only. a while. They, they could dive just in. dive for this. Yeah. Looks like they will. Jotam oh, taking very nicely for the Gyro. Wow! Okay. That Didn't need anything hard. from Rocket Barrage. How much damage does that do at max range level 2? That is so sick. Is under attack. Good stuff. And it's funny, when that was buffed last patch we were talking about, I remember you specifically, like I hope they, like this forces people to build rocket more on 
Like a rocket Not forces build. them, but makes it more valuable. Right? Oh, whatever the case may be, sure. But now we're actually seeing that come to fruition, but only a patch later. Pretty cool to see, I have to say. Well, I guess to some degree that was happening this past patch as well, but it's not quite the same because now you can force staff the homing missile. <laughs> Don't forget, guys. Don't I hope we see that play. That would, that would be hilarious. So Doi looks like he's going to get the rune, and it's a haste. So oh my G. god. Can he kill Puppy? He's going to get a hook stomp. There it goes. Gonna get purged, and he's just gonna double edge to victory. What a rune to get if you're Sadoi. Level three and a half now. That was really close, though. If that purge from No Tail would have hit a little earlier, he obviously couldn't have caught up. But got in range in time, found Puppy. Big kill. This is similar to what Misery did in the previous game, where this is like flip sides, right? BP's offlaner is finding a solo kill he really shouldn't get. And on Secrets offlane, they're getting crushed. <laughs> Misery gave up. He's gone to jungle. Yeah, that's true. But that was more oh, luck-based than anything else, as opposed to the last game, which was not at all. That's true. That wasn't rune-based at all, that Misery got that kill. And Viper has the ultimate to work with. Beastmaster is still level 5.5. But here comes Skyrim. Oh, Mage with the silence, the slow, everything in between. If they had the roar, this would be a kill. He's just going to turn around right on Jotam. And with this Nether Toxin Viper Strike combination, he's dead. G. He's continuing to slow with this boar. How freaking annoying is this? And the axes finish him off. So in the end, Beastmaster gets a nice Radiant's trade. Tower Surprised they didn't it. wait for the roar, like you said. It wasn't that far off, was it? 200 uh, experience? He was, he was five and a half, whatever that is, ends up being. Oh, okay, yeah. That would have taken two ways then. Uh, I guess he has to try. No, no daddy. No daddy. <laughs> no go. daddy. Sadoi's so gonna get a double hook stun. Oh, wait, he already used it. He's getting wrecked now. He's he pretty live. fast though. He's pretty fast. Yol is here as well. He's gonna live. Has Tranquil Boots, so might need to go back for some mana. I and mean, that's the biggest nerf in the past few patches for Centaur is that hoof stomp. Mana cost is extremely high for his mana capabilities. Yep. Yeah, it's the minus but, Oh yeah, he had that in the other game as well. He might go for the exact same builds he did yesterday. He is actually doing that. So it wasn't just a one-off thing. He has points and stats again. When it works. This is the jug build from yesterday that we, I feel like had decent success, but I don't know how much it had to do with the build rather than just the way the game flow went. Well, we're going to see this game. It's holding on to it. The other lanes aren't going as yeah, well as Yeah, this time it's not exactly. Misery, man. <laughs> he has just starved this game. Level three, six minutes in jungling, and even that is getting taken from him partially. And if he gets ganked now too by John, oh no, he attacked with the illusion. <laughs> oh my, that's gonna that give it away. Creep. He got like 20 experience from that though. So I don't know how much of a difference that makes. Saying he finally he's sandstorming. Oh boy, if they steal this too, they have a oh, sentry. This is huge. Oh my goodness oh. gracious! Neutral creeps take the kill again. Oh, that's Seder. Always in range, man. Always in range. Misery. No that, kill here. Two but level coding. Three. Hilarious. <laughs> It makes for some really funny moments. I think that bug has been reported years ago, and I think the reason they're not changing is that it's more fun than it's annoying. I think. I don't have a problem with it. it makes yeah, for some good times. It's pretty hilarious. Remember back in the day when um, the creeps went to sleep at night? Yeah. Remember that, right? That was. I guess that was never. That was also reported too. very early. Yeah, it was talked about, and then it was brought up. Do you think it's important? I remember you talking and, about this. You had a conversation with Ice Frog, I think. Yeah, he was like, do you think it's important? Then we were thinking about it and like, well, for some situations it actually does matter, but it's not that crucial and no. the players had got used to sleeping on being there. Maybe it's just fine to just get rid of it entirely. Yeah. Kuro! Oh, so much damage! He goes down before he can pop Blade Fury. Great counter initiation and counter play in general from Skywrath Mage, Jotam. He was, that was perfect from him. Right place, right time. Sidoi might almost actually die here, no! It's, uh, oh my god, okay. he's getting healed, of course, from the Oracle. <laughs> well calculated. It's a, a double-edged spell, not double-edged He, itself, he saw No-Tail there the whole time, and he just let him do it. What he was confidence confident. do you need to have for that? Jesus. Well, when you play Centaur correctly, you have to have balls. That's just how it is. Misery, skewers Misery, up. Skewer? Hmm. Nothing to come of it. Still level 3, by the way. In comparison to Centaur, level 6 and a half. Yeah, this... As far as offlanes are concerned, completely different stories like you talked about. It's still funny that 
the gold is pretty even, and the big uh, difference there is the middling where Viper has, as he should, sort of taking over. He's closing in on twice the farm of Beastmaster, even though he has died in the lane, and G is starting to move as a result, because that mid lane is not going too well anymore. So he's looking for a gank, but Kuro spots him out. They have a ward here. <laughs> He wants to take the stack out, but they're He's all He's in the sentry war! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh no! Okay then. Oh. He has gotta be frustrated. Kuro, Kuro not even... A stun to the face. He silences as well. Double edge to follow. Talk about combinations. Surprising. Spell damage he's out of control. It's like he just let G do that. When G started walking in against him, he wanted to show how much Radiant's he respected uh, or how little he respected him by doing nothing and then Dyer's ends up dying as a result. But yeah, this Dota 2 interaction with neutral creeps is really weird. That when you when the enemy team has a sentry ward in the camp, the neutrals can see you. Like, that's just really strange. It is a little strange. And that has also been reported. I honestly I don't I don't know. Attack. We can discuss Radiant's the one with sleeping at night, but that true side thing is just strange, honestly. So Doi and company is taking out the entire stack for Puppy, who misses his Burrow yeah, Strike. This is a huge loss for Secret. He got off to such a good start, well I shouldn't say that, it was just the bounty rune. It had potential to get off to a really Radiant's good start, bottom but tower is under falling attack. off quite a bit as a result of that. It's basically just a sentry, because the first time he died it was two neutrals, but he was actually woken up because of the, the sentry and nothing else. So I figured he would know that it was in the area. But... Like we saw, that's not the case, Yol. He's Viper Strike. He'll be okay. A little worse for wear. Radiant's G in the meantime, Roar is now is available. Has the Blink Dagger to work with as well, so... Along with the double damage. And he's level 8 versus the... That's not the right mid. Oh yeah, it is, S4. I keep thinking he's Magnus. But that, of course, is Misery. Level advantage for S4, though. And as far as farm as well... Also in S Force favor, but that's kind of what you expect, right? I mean, even with this buff. Oh, Kuro again! They're just punishing his. Pu oh, this time he's on time with the spin, though. He's probably gonna live as a result. Yeah. Yes. And the counterplay, they'll well. get a lift. S Four get a poison attack off, laying into Jotam. Oh, poor Jotam. He's still getting out. I thought they might still be able to get that kill because of the double damage on Beastmaster, but uh, not enough Fast damage. Fast fingers from Kuro. Well, that's one out of three now, right? His first two deaths, his only two deaths, are because he didn't pop Blade Fury fast enough, I think. If I remember correctly. Misery level 5, 1000 gold. Does he go straight for Blink? Is that the right choice? In a game like this? Um. I. I don't see why not. Like, what's the better choice? He can try to get Archangels, that's just gonna delay his blink so damn much, right? It's... If he had a better start, I would say Arcanes were a possible build-up, but... It's, you know, it's a long time since it happened with the Blink Dagger losing its mana so that was a buff to a hero like Magnus, although... He chooses to get the Arcanes. I... I'm not quite sure about this. I think they need his power here and now, and this build-up, even though it's gonna pay off in the long run, I think they need help in the short run. I agree. I mean, it's we'll an 8 see. to 1 advantage right now for VP. They're looking real good. I think two of those kills are neutrals, though. So 6 to 1. True. 6 to 1. Neutrals doing their work Radiant's this game. Top tower is BZZ, under attack. a recipe away from BKB. Yeah, he is so now. good farm. They do have a smoke. And No Tail can, of course, get a purge off, but BZZ, his spidey senses are tingling. So he's going to back up. G in the meantime oh, is invisible. Gee. Kuroki looks ripe for the picking. They don't have nearly enough damage without a third member, and that is coming right now. And that's Gyrocopter of all heroes. And Kuro, Kuro has so a feeling deep. this is happening. This is good awareness. Skyrath is in mid, there's no beast on the map. It's very likely Kuro's the target again. As a result, he's just going to play really safely. Even sending out the healing ward to scout, this is a pretty cool play. Doesn't find anything though, and this could give him a false feeling of sec security here. Safety. Well, Blink Dagger is about to be picked up by, well, I was going to say Centaur. I'm actually really surprised that Puppy found his farm, considering what kind of a start he got off to. But double Blink Dagger, one in each respective team. The push will continue, and Radiant's a smoke by Secret to try to defend in all attack. likelihood. Omni Slash level 1, I believe, yes. And with all these, like, extra minions on in play, Omni Slash is kind of 
loses some of its effectiveness, especially at the yeah. early levels. Oh, Misery could get a really good angle. Does have mana for two spells, not the third. Well, this actually, is a perfect wrap around. Off they need to out of this fight. Blanchard is going to force everybody out. Misery oh. makes the RP, skewers in. Gets decimated right off the bat, and here we have more action. S4 and Puppy, double edge on two Sedoi, dealing so much damage. He does finally fall. A four for one with a buyback, in fact, but Gyrocopter is getting chased by Kuroki. A couple more right clicks will do it, but no, the rocket will finally come attack. Misery, I believe he's the one that bought back. He still has the RP, he's going to be forced to use it. Shockwave up in one second. He should be able to get one kill, but what? at what cost, man? Six for two. Six for two. Oh my god, that was... I think Misery, well, it's a really hard play to make, because the smoke breaks, and he sees two heroes. One of them has a blink. If he starts the skewer, he's going to commit in, find one hero, and the other one's already blinked out. Instead, he walks in, tries to get the RP, cancels it like he should, but then he's just totally kited after that. The, the way they initiated that fight didn't work, and in hindsight, maybe he just should try skewer RP, and then that sets up a perfect burrow FP from Puppy. Instead, they got into this kind of... Strange initiation where nothing really got off to full effect, and maybe he could have sacrificed his ult for the rest of the fight to go well, but man, that could not have gone better for VP. Huge swing for them. And something also to mention, I think you might have brought it up, you correct me if I'm wrong, but not having a blink dagger on Misery is just like... Yeah, you see crucial. it right there. I, he I mean, probably having a skewer initiation in that case is super difficult. I, I, could he have had a blink if he had sold, if he hadn't bought Arcane Boots, and if he, well, then he would have had less farm. So well, how much did I guess he the answer is no. He bought back and gold. died twice. So I think realistically he would, he wouldn't have had it there, but he could have been close. He would have, he would be getting blink now, if he hadn't gone Arcane Boots. And I think they're really paying the price because they need that RP. They're losing the, they're losing so much in the last three minutes right now. Roshan getting rip rolled. Thanks to that encourage on you all. Of course, I can be used offensively now as well. Gyrocopter is the one that can pick up the Aegis. He has the you BKB, which is now 10 seconds. What did I say? Offensively? Oh, yeah, defensively. Thank oh, you. Hot Offensive defense wrecks. for basketball are pretty much the same thing sometimes. No. Okay. <laughs> Not really, actually. Nice explanation. All. Thank you. Anytime you want to have a little talk about it, that's perfectly fine with me. Yeah. No. Is Beastmaster going to go for Boots of Travel? Oh my goodness. I'm a prophet. Missile onto S4, and I believe this should be a max missile, so that is... Okay, well, well there's the the Look at the AoE, along with the Mystic Flare. BKB popped by BZZ. Big oh, no tail self cast is the ultimate, yeah. Misery gets roared. This is turning into an absolute stomp the other way. But beautiful epicenter from Puppy. Can he get more than one kill? He can't even get one at the moment. Burrow Strike's not up for another six seconds. Omni Slash, look at all the creeps taking the damage. Grofi gets one. Ends up getting two. There we go. But that is the the age is coming to fruition. And puppy on the back end. One more right click will do it. In the meantime, Kurogi trying to get BZZ, but really he's the one getting hunted. He can't Blade Fury out of this. I think that things just break up here. Wow, what a fight again from VP. The execution is just they're really taking advantage of these, this early itemization. I'm starting to wonder if that false prof, uh, false promise from Oracle was on purpose that he self-casted so he could run in and could put Fate's Edict on the Viper, but I think he self-cast the ult and didn't get in range for the Fate's Edict because he got slowed by the missile. Uh, alternatively, I think he was definitely in range to false promise the Viper, and I think he should have done so, to be honest, in hindsight. And that, once again, another costly fight for Secret. They're making a couple of misplays in this game. You just don't get away with that against VP, at least not in our tournament. <laughs> they get punished really hard. Captain's Draft is another hotel. mode for these guys than yeah. everyone else. For sure. Rocket. Homing missile. It's gonna hit S4 eventually. Let's see how much damage don't. it takes. Yeah. Well, that that could have been helpful beforehand. That spell. <laughs> the uh, the scroll, as you called it. But. Alas, Viper with a point booster working towards Ags very slowly but surely. No Tail's inventory is just downright depressing. Boots of speed and now wards. He's just a walking he ultimate can before he gets blown up. Oh, you're right. He can't afford a branch if he really wants to. But yeah, they're they're playing against the clock now. This is a 10k lead. It's just a matter of time before this gyro gets completely out of hand. I feel they. 
We talked about it during the draft, and I said, I think if, if VP get off to a good start with some good support rotations early on and find some kills, they could do very well, else the mid game will get scary, and that's exactly what happened. Their early game was really good. They found the kills they needed, got their levels, Beastmaster and Skyrath have set up a lot of stuff together with mainly the Gyro. Impressively enough, BZZ has the highest kill attendance on the Dire with 10, together with 10 on Beast. If you can be that active with your carry and still have 100 CS at 18, it's, that's pretty good. I think they're going to be organizing a smoke. Oh, it's already popped, it looks like. Uh, BZZ going towards the Helm of the Dominator. Look for him to pick up one of those wolf creeps. What are they actually called? I don't know. The crit creep. Because he's going to have 500 extra HP applied to it, the Helm of the Dominator yep. buff. Nice. And just having that behind him is going to be pretty amazing for the right click. Sadoi. Smoke. Jot him. They might find Kuroki here. He could just blink. There it is. Oh, the beautiful oh, blade trade. And TP. Roar! Oh, there it is. Kuroki has his ultimate, but he's silenced. And Mystic flared. Mm. That could, that must have been like 0.1 on that roll. Very close. Wow. It could have actually hit him in base. I think that's still possible. Radiance that was very close to hitting him in base, that roll. This mid tier one tower is going to fall as well. This is another thing BP have been doing very well in this game. They get a good fight and they get a collateral. They've got Roche, they've got the bus tier one for a good fight, and they're getting mid tier one for a good fight. And Secret you know, funny just thing can't is find about Centaur. Before Crimson Guard, I would say Vanguard is complete garbage for the most part. But Crimson Guard makes this so good, especially against somebody like a Juggernaut. I mean, it's gonna be super helpful. We never see Pipe either, for some reason. Um, not to compare the two, but Pipe was also buffed. I think Crimson Guard was yep. one extra second duration, and Pipe was two, along with uh, a cooldown yeah, increase. Yeah, that might be true. Like I thought that was one as well, but thinking twice, you might be right. It's two. I can't remember. That would have been do you eight think, to ten. Uh, I think it is actually. I could be wrong, but either way, we talked about Boots of Travel on Beastmaster, which of course ten to twelve. Quite well. Actually, no mind. Ten to twelve. Yeah, that sounds right. He's going to be going for Aghanim Scepter. What do you think of Ags on Beast? Increases the range. What else does it do? Chris is the uh, what is it? It's it's the range and reduces cooldown, right? Nothing else, I think. The, the rest slow... is still the same. It's oh, still yeah. the same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's range and cooldown, and it's it's a good pickup, but I don't. To be honest with you, I don't even know if they need it this game. I think he's getting all the initiations he wants already from having the blink, and often mm -hmm. the discussion you have either with your team or with yourself is, should I should I get axe or blink? But if you're getting both, you have the longest initiation range you can almost imagine. But on the other hand, if you're already getting the jumps anyway, you could have got something like a Vlance. And then it comes down to... Necro? Then it's only the good. cooldown reduction, right? Then you're like, is yeah. is the 25 second cooldown reduction level 3 worth it? The way this game is going, probably, because they're looking for pickoffs all the time. Uh, and so we I see how helpful nice. it is against but, a blade fearing Juggernaut Kuroki. Yeah, Necro, Necro would be nice too, against Oracle. So they can pop the true sight against False Promise. Uh, Mana Burn is really nice against especially Magnus right now, I would say. And just running the book game can keep not, their Blink Heroes out. They're not worried about this going late game, because they have such a farm advantage at the moment. We can just take a look at the graphs. Disgusting, and I'm about to vomit. That's basically what that says. Okay. Um, so he could probably realistically get, well get his Ags and then a Necro, and at that point, even before then, maybe yeah. they can finish. Yeah, that Crimson Guard four. is almost there. Oh, Sadoi! Trying to TP, he's gonna TP. get on me. Oh, oh my TP. god! The... <laughs> okay. Those freaking creeps, man. I mean, that was a buff way back when, Juggernaut, when he ultis creeps, they die in one hit, but still. That still might have been unlucky existence. there. He could have had a better jump if the creep didn't die. Because mm -hmm. then he might have had a chip that route back onto Centaur. I think he would have lived still. The... The Centaur is pretty tanky. The Vanguard, of course, blocking the hits between the Omni Slash quite well. Okay, if Kuro had that axe. one, he might have killed him. But... Oh. Not well, happening bounced, this time around. He bounced pretty far back with the creeps. Yeah. I'd have to watch that. That's what again. I mean. If it was the if it was the old Omni Slash, the creeps wouldn't have died in one hit, so then right, he could have right, found right. a pass back. But that yeah, wasn't there. Interesting stuff. But still that True was. Enough. I think he would live regardless. But funny thing, because we pr everyone pretty much considered that a buff in all situations, but there are those very gimmicky situations like that one where the old one might have been better. There's another Ags for Beast. When's Roche up? Three and a half minutes max. 
I think VP get that, and then they take bot tier two. I think so as well. Well, S4, he's still working towards his ags. Another 700 to finish that. Too. Are you serious? Just, just, yeah. just Aghanim's gaming right now. I mean, oh, I he finds an opening farm. on y'all. There is no man's land. Whoa, wow. Okay. Well, they really want this kill. I mean, I, it's probably worth it considering how the game is going. But now that you know RP is down, what does VP do to capitalize? They wouldn't have killed him without RP. <laughs> he had to do it, I think. He was getting stampeded and he could just run away. Uh, or he, then Puppy can blink stun him, but then it starts getting really scary for Secret Word with where the rest of the team is, so... They oh, I had just to noticed do that for... Kuroki's skill icons oh, are actually all... Except for the healing ward, are all ours now. What yeah, changed? He put on the weapon. Oh, I see. So now he has Omni Slash and Flurry as well, but he still doesn't have the Juggernaut that gives the Jugger Egg. How dare he. I have to message him after this game. <laughs> He's so gonna get fined for not using <laughs> tournament <laughs> peripherals. Next, if there's a next <laughs> season, that's the next rule, right? That's the obvious transition. Why not, man? Why not? Yeah, I'm sure there's not gonna be any drama with that. It's a great idea, let's do it. Why not, man? S4 does finish the axe. Another minute and a half for Roshan, which benefits Secret if nobody else. Um, but Gyro. 3,500 gold on top of his current items. He's gonna get ganked big time. Goro Strike, Misery doesn't have RP to work with. Omni oh, Strike again! again. Oh, we talked about he's the getting minions. unfortunate. These Visage Familiars are just awful to work with if you're if you're Juggernaut. Uh, that was just flat out unlucky. The, the last one was more likely to happen than this one, but the fact that the, he keeps jumping on the birds as they're being moved away. If he gets one jump onto the Gyro, he will stay there, but... Man, he just can't catch a break this game with a Juggernaut. Has one kill in 25 minutes on one of the act most active carries in the game. That's gotta suck. <laughs> that should be another uh, shirt, I think. Get mecked, uh, get surprised. <laughs> you've been surprised. Are you, I keep screwing that up. You've been surprised. And that's gotta suck. Although that one's not as unique, I guess, now that I think about it. No. Right, I take that back. It's just yeah, the way good. you say it just exudes confidence. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I enjoy it quite a bit, though. So, Doi, as we talked about, did pick up the Crimson Guard finally. Has 1,100 gold on top of that. Question is, what does he go for next? Do they want Pipe? I think Pipe would be quite nice. And he's the best carrier. I mean, Beastmaster could get it, but I feel like he's going for a little bit of different build. Has 1,200 gold on top of everything right now. As they continually snipe out these hawks. Who are you saying Pipe for? Centaur? Yeah. Well, I'm asking who I you think, think you... Pipe could be picked on, picked up on. I don't think they're getting it at this point, because then they would have got it already. I... You don't think could it... Im... You really feel it drops off that much at this point? I think well, it's, it's still, still good. Really good. Don't... It's definitely good still. It's... I wouldn't blame him if he picks it up, but I think he can aim for something bigger. The rest of his team is getting so much farm that... They will have either BKB, he's going to be extremely tanky, and then they won't meet the pipe, and can do more damage with something else at this stage. So he's going to go for a hard looks attack. like. That would be one of my secondary suggestions. Hard Kiras or BKB, or all the fourth. Although this is not that great BKB game, apart from a gyro. So I think they're itemizing perfectly so far. They get Roshan. I thought it was going to be a trade, but they all TP top. G has the ag, just watch for it. They're not going to get Nota, he's going to TP up. Look at the rage! Skyrath Mage ult into a roar. Oh, God, that is sickening to watch. It's like across the map. Ag's pretty underrated, I think, on Beastmaster. That is really nice. I know I'd love to see G get a refresher, because that could probably seal the game. Then if he doesn't get oh, targeted, shutting down two targets, the mana cost of this hero aren't that high. So he has a thousand mana already with eggs. Uh, he also has a wand and a bottle for some extra, extra flux. And then the refresher itself also gives a bit of mana. So extra two ultimates flux. costs yeah. 775. He, he, with full mana, he can cast all the spells twice. All very close. And there's the Axon Visage, man. This is out of control. I had a mech, for good measure. Oh, they do get a mech. It's funny yeah. that the graph isn't dipping more. You would feel like this is approaching, like, not necessarily a 20k game, but at least a 15k one, and they're still... Oh, they built on oh they're close to 14, so I guess it's almost a Man, this tier 1 tower wolf is just so stubborn. The defense here from BP, they should be able to get a deny. I don't even know if they want this one. Looks what? like they don't. 
They don't want to deny it? Oh, I see. No. Up to them, I suppose, but... It's given gold to secret that they've worked really hard for and they just deny it from them. By not denying it. Uh, a deny but... of a deny? Yeah. This homing missile- GET wrecked! Oh my god. That's so much damage. I can't get over that freaking spell. That's kind of like one of the most weird... I don't know how to... How to say it. It's just the weirdest spell, I feel like, in the game, as far as single target spells are concerned. It's just really random. Kuroki Blade Furies. He's had this Yasha for a while. Question is, what is he going to go for next? Radiant Butterfly finish on Gyro. Is under attack. And the defense Radiant will be mounted from Team fortified. Secret. No tail. Unfortunately, not much more item progression for him. Oh, Kuro really cleaning those familiars down. But he's taking damage. Was that Might have been an initiation there from BP, but they're playing it safe. Radiant's top tower. Tower. Radiant's top tower it looks like you're right fallen. that Sadoi is going for a heart. Picks up the Vit Booster first. You mentioned which... that. Well, I, it's kind of three minutes ago. I actually don't agree with Vit Booster first, but I'm a noob, so what can I say? I really like the, the extra strength you get from Mesher Schmitz. For sure, it's more about the timing. I guess when he was pass, passing the shop, or you know, in some cases it makes sense to save up for the Reaver first, but at that point in time, he might have had the exact goal for a Vitality Booster and basically walking past the shop and looking for a fight, and then that extra health can make a difference. Here we go. Oh, a strike on the side onto Jotam. That's four half four. HP. Misery is the one that can be taking all the damage. Jotam and Senta, this fight is just split up big time. Misery's going to live at least for now. He's going to pop the Inches on himself. Yeah, he's dead. Right now it's a one for one. He pops. Jarakopter has the Aegis. Doesn't really care about taking the Omni side right now. So he doesn't care either. With that Crimson Guard. Epicenter by Puppy. And now the aggression is going to be continued, this time from BP. I was going to say, what they need to really try to dodge is the RP, and, well, they killed Magnus before he could even get it off. That's the one spell that brings I... Secret back in this game. Couldn't he have cast it? I, I, I think I saw Misery skewering, not even starting the animation, and then it took like a second or half a second before he got sealed. I don't know. I'm not sure if I didn't see the situation correctly, but to me that looked like a... An, Pretty clear setup for for an RP, and that would have been a different fight because he would have caught Jotun and I think what was was it the Jar of BCZ? We could have caught those in the side and killed them off, maybe. So I don't know. Maybe he was hit by something else I didn't see, but Cinder, the seal was creep. great. That's for sure. Look at that creep. Look at how much health that freaking creep has. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Seder mind steal. I mean, come on. This is like a secondary creep Dyer's in that, in that camp. Has Finally denied. denied top, knowing that they're pretty close to. Vicinity, at least. Uh, what is he doing with his creep? Is he stacking? It's only a double stack right now. Uh, that's a triple, right? That's a triple stack. I guess he stacked uh, okay. once, and now Visage stacked once. I so... really want to see. Oh, top lane. G. I hit the blink dagger. I think when they go for the final push, he probably picks up one of those bottom uh, wolf commanders, whatever attack. they're called. Magnus and company, top lane. Slow pushing this tier two, while Puppy gets a little bit of farm at bot lane. Don't think any fights. Well, there is a smoke here. It's gonna be tough to find them. They're retreating. This hawk is doing a lot of work. Scouting out. We'll see No Tail running downwards with everyone else running up. Oh, they're gonna turn. I really this talked is a about scary initiation if they try it, but Secret want Kuro to get caught. As long as we get the Blade Fury off in time. We haven't talked about Empower, but that being on Juggernaut is pretty big. Especially considering it now goes through... Is that in this patch that they changed? That it goes through BKB? Or Which Magic one? Immune in general? Uh, Empower? Was that this patch or last patch? Uh, it's been buffed like twice. I'm not... This time Empower's interaction with BKB got changed so it's completely irrelevant. I don't know what the interaction was before, because there was already a buff that Empower worked with BKB, but there might have been one like one order of casting it or whatever where it didn't carry through. Can't remember. But now it's in all situations it's Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Y'all with that AGS. Let's look at the level discrepancy. So, oh man. So level 13 Visage versus the mid lane, or not mid lane, but the off lane Magnus, who is the lowest level in the game, tied with Oracle. And this is exactly what Secret need, I feel. A nice smoke gank, 
Roche, oh, this not is quite a big kill. On the BZZ and the RPUs, he has a Satanic. Not gonna get it off. It's a Man, perfect kill that. for them. No buyback. Yep, oh, nice axle. Range on him is insane. Centaur oh, ult no. again, being used to counter that quite a bit. They might still find the kill though, they're Radiant's pretty much surrounding him. And the skewer will ensure it. Man, he's pretty tanky though. <laughs> he is really tanky. So two kills. They make a big difference when you're when you're this far behind, and they don't trade anything off. The this is the thing about this kill is this is maybe only going to happen once. If they can do it again, that's really good because they need to catch Gyro one more time. But if he has any teammates around, you saw how hard he was to kill. If there's a counter initiation there, they don't bring it down. They use like everything. So that's really important to keep in mind going forward that they got no objectives for it. It's gonna be a pickles, second to nine tower too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Dyer's bottom tower has been so two hundred gold goes to secret for two towers. Illusion. And that's the only two towers that they have because mid is still. They got a lot of gold for the kills though. If I have a look, that's almost five k for those two kills Dyer's they found. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And that's. I mean, we're talking about how much Visage has, so it makes sense, right? The rubber band effect. Yeah. And this is going to be another denied tower. That's three. Dyer's Man. middle tower has been denied. Deep here playing such a good game. Blink dagger. Wow. Talk to me about this. Gets him in better positioning for, uh, well, his ult, if nothing else. For everything. That's it. I mean, it's a naked blink, so he is super squishy. Positioning is everything for this Oracle, though. He couldn't have built anything else that was better, I think. So I like this choice a lot. It's all about whether... The only way Secret are going to win this game, and I think that's what Notail realizes, is that they are in a better position and that he gets his spells out at the clutch times. If he, he could have... The alternative is a mint, for example. But I don't think that's going to do as much as this blink in this case. Because to cast the mech on his team, he needs to walk in, and then he exposes himself. Bottom tower so rather get a good false promise on the first Radiance bottom tower has fallen. DP are going to force Secret back, and then they're going to defend their side. Line. Very methodical, not really giving any space. Disciplined. And we talk about this all tournament. DP, just the team that. Talk to me at the beginning of the season, and I'm sure you as well. They're kind of wild cards in a sense that they they aren't the most disciplined team, but sometimes that works in their favor, right? But this, because you don't know exactly what to expect sometimes, especially if you're the enemy team. But this tournament, man, they have been so solid. Super impressed. Kuroki right now, he goes for Demon Edge. I was wondering what he was going to go for. So it could be an MKB versus the um, damage. the Butterfly of Gyrocopter. There's four-man smoke right now. Is. And he has it DD. He gets an ult on somebody. Bye-bye. This is a very good opportunity for Secret if they find the opening. No Roche, however. They're pretty unfortunate because this Roche could have easily spawned now. But it's going to be in 10 seconds, and this is right <laughs> after they're forced away. They're not going to be happy with that when they watch the replay later. Yeah, and DD is... And BB... <laughs> He's going to walk in and see right, it spawn. Yeah. Oh my god. That's unlucky. <laughs> That's really unlucky. Curious. Nice pickup from S4. Basically countering the opposing one picked up by Beastmaster. Well, cool, we'll see Roche spawn though. He got his Illu in. And that's an immediate smoke. This no. is fast. This is gonna be smoke. super fast. Or they're just conceding it. I don't this know. Chance. Chance. I wasn't even keeping track. This is the third Roche. Yeah, yeah. Centaur putting that on the Or yo. No. Oh, wait, there's cheese. Let me get it. Delicious. Didn't Sisodoya? know horses like cheese, but. No, I guess. Good for How the much team. damage. Does Centaur ult do now? Let's calculate. I'm not looking at the map. Yeah, there's not gonna be any miskills here. How much damage? Three times the strength multiplier, which he now has like 150 ish. So 450? Uh, he has right? 130. So 130. So 390. 390. 390. Stampede. That's okay. pretty good. And that's for all heroes, not just him. Yeah. Ultimate onto Sadoi. Man, he's yeah, really tanking this. this. There we go. Yeah, he doesn't want to pop cheese quite yet. But, I mean, that's, that's a Viper Strike use, and that's not much of a commitment. That's Not at center. all. He was very aggressive on that, already. on that stance. But, of course, the heart brings him up nicely. Use Stampede, which is a 40-second cooldown now. But if I think if S4 tries it again, they might just flat out initiate. If they can no, find No-Tail, that would be a nice pickoff. Shutting down the Oracle for the man. Well. This Killing is not a lord on the outskirts. 
Secret are very good at their own high ground. Well, they might need to wait for Stampede to come back up before they can reinitiate. Because then it, for all intents and purposes, kind of nullifies the major effect from uh, Viper Strike, which is the slow. But of course, he can just use it so often. It's ridiculous. BZZ now taking the damage. It has to say tag. That missile could set something up. Uh, burrow Strike on two. Wow, what a great Burrow Strike. Sadoi. Just gonna heal back up. <laughs> Very nice play from Puppy. I think he anticipated that when that missile hits, Sidoy might blink stun and they would be in a bad position. So he does that stun. It's kind of a. It's an offensive and defensive stun at the same time, and that was a really nice play. Because I was thinking Sidoy's gonna blink stun in a moment. Oh, here and comes the Stampede. They're gonna go oh, right no, for Puppy. Puppy's gonna, gonna blown up. No, a nice ultimate Morph is gonna keep him alive, but I think he's gonna pop in the end. We'll see very soon. BZZ pops a BKB as well. Sanky actually lived through that, surprisingly enough, and actually heals the full very shortly after. S4, half HP getting stunned. Perma stun from the Viper, or from the Visage ultimate. Familiar's Kuroki has Omni Slash still. Keep in mind, Ghost Scepter pops beforehand. This could be bad for BP. Message about to go down, but not quite. Kuroki jumps in. There's the ultimate. Beautiful RP on three heroes. Kuroki still has the ultimate to work with, and there's no creeps. Now would be a decent time to use it. The ultimate again coming for Nota. That thing cooldown is ridiculous. On the attack goes up, not really doing that much damage. Another beautiful burrow strike though from Puppy. G getting quite low. And the jump in again from Sadoi. He's not scared. He's a freaking centaur. Double edge. Puppy in the meantime gets nice ultimate again from Nota. It's just infinite ultimates left, right, and center. Puppy, he's gonna take a lot of damage though. Let's see how much he takes. Almost drops to the deck. Oh! Sadoi, did he drop to the deck? Did he just die because he ghost sectored? What did he die to? He died to the second missile of call down. Uh, okay. And he was in ghost sector, so he took extra damage. And that was kind of on the edge, so. No, he would have died anyway, I think. Doesn't matter. Man, that's still... I mean, if VP didn't have a 15k gold lead there, they would have been wiped. That was with a 15k gold lead, Aegis, and Cheese, and they used all of it, and they barely won the fight. Sure, also two buybacks from Secret, but still, that was a really good defense. Did... But no? Oh, I guess I'll check. Oracle, did he buy back? No. Uh, the buybacks were Sand King and Viper. Puppy played a really good fight there. Yeah, Sand King. King initiations were amazing, and Oracle. I think he cast his ultimate literally four times in that fight. Am I wrong? I think three. Four. Which makes okay. sense. It was four. Okay. He cast it four times. Well, either way, that, it's funny though, because it's very noticeable when he when he casts it, right? Not just because of the spell yeah. animations, why not? Because of the effect. I have a hard time believing strong. that fight was like 65 seconds long, though. So. He cast it three. Wait, what's the cooldown? 20 Nine seconds. Oh, that's the duration. Yeah, 20 seconds, okay. If that was 9, this would be Man, a first game. Just is, kidding, that, still first game. That really is a long-ass time. But it was definitely at least 3, right? So. Yeah, I think he had 3. That was such a long fight. There was also 2 buybacks from Secret. There was Aegis used, Cheese used, double reset from BP where they ran out and got in again. And they also played it nicely. Like, that was a really good fight from both sides, and I think just a... If VP do it a little bit better there, they just... They might just wipe Secret. This, like... This is a fight of inches, where if you make one misstep and you get caught out as the Juggernaut, you die, and then the fight is totally different, but mm -hmm. all of them played it really well. That was a beautiful fight. How surprised fight to watch. are you to nice see... Goal. I know that Oracle's not farming too well, but still. How surprised are you to see not an urn or a mech picked up, especially considering the effects that it has on Oracle's ult, which is what, double the heal, and urn will not get cancelled via the Oracle ulti anyway, even if you're hit? And you get double that heal. I feel like that's super strong. I'm not sure if it would make any difference in that fight, but considering he cast it three times, you'd think it could be super effective. Yeah, that could still. I mean, with the, with the income he has, it might be worth getting still. I mean, if this was uh, in like but... a couple patches ago, Mech on Viper would be standard, but not the case anymore. No. They could have definitely benefited a lot from having either Mech or Urn or both. But I don't fault them for their item choices in the situations that they were in. I think they had to aim for something else, so... But now, on the Oracle with the Blink, I don't see a better pickup for him than Mech or Force Staff. And then, it's which one he prefers. I don't think Yules is good enough. And he's not reaching a Hex. Can we see two hearts on Centaur, please? Or Scotty. I'll be happy with that. He has 4k golden at the moment. He should really get a Vlad's. On yeah, one of their heroes, with the way these fights are, it's absolutely it's not a big ticket fucking. item, though. If you're 
If you're a centaur, if you're playing at the full effectiveness, you get those big ticket items, Cinderella. Yeah, someone else could get it then. Get it on the Skyrath. Yeah, for sure, example. that's fine. Get it but on the Skyrath. That would be a very valuable item, I feel. Uh, alternatives for Centaur Halberd would be cool against the Viper, who doesn't have BKB. Well, that might fights, be the item uh... of choice for Sedoi. Also, the evasion is very nice. Not against Coral who has MKB, but still yeah. think it has its merits. Because he's not dying to honest rushing. The damage Gyro's been doing hasn't been that much because a lot of his items are a little bit defensive in nature. But now that he's going Demon Edge, in all likelihood, an MKB or crit. This is when he starts dealing, in, well, it could be a Divine, I suppose, but don't think we're at that point yet. No. I think he's also just Viper Struck, like, half the fight. S4 is constantly throwing Viper Strike on him. Which is exactly what he needs to do. There's no better target, for sure, in the Gyro. BP. I think we're gonna wait for the next Roche, so we'll know when it's up in about 45. So, 3 minute 45 max timer. And that should be theirs as well. I don't see Secret fighting outside their own base at this rate. So VP, just keep controlling the map, send out the Hawk. Uh, send out the Boar even as a scout, if you will. And find out where Secret are, play it safe. Oh, Misery's... Oh, he wasn't that Biz. Cast in power. Thought they might be able to catch Gyro. They still technically could, but G is here to back him up. Yes, I can't believe how much farm these heroes have. I'm not used to seeing Beastmaster with this much and 4k on top of it. That is so sick. You all with a gem now, by the way. So Oracle's ult will not be quite as effective. And keep in mind, it works in a lot of ways like Abaddon's. This Abaddon. is a good bait play from VP. This is really good. They move two heroes down here into the vision of the Radiant, and then they get pinged out, but the smoke squad is in ahead of them. So if Secret, they could have fallen into a trap there. They are playing it very defensively though, as they should, so not getting caught out, but... I don't know. Do VP really need to do it? Well, okay, it's a long Roche. They obviously don't know that, but... MKB. They could just play it safe, but they're looking to initiate. Nice, familiar drop suggest S4. Kroki looking for an ult. Not with all these creeps, especially the familiars. S4 getting healed up thanks to No-Tail. It's just gonna be one of these slow sieges again. Unless they find a good opportunity to go in. Remember, False Promise can be used to take off these stuns. It can do, like, literally everything in the book. It makes it's so hard really to finish. Yeah, it's such <laughs> a good spell. Do? But the MKB was picked up simultaneously. I'm sorry, the Butterfly on Kuroku was picked up simultaneously as the, the MKB for Gyro. So that is countered to that degree, at least. And really, there's not many right clickers. It's just Gyro on VP. A lot of the other stuff is just magic. But yeah, I think they're just waiting for Rush. Uh, still quite a bit of physical damage with the familiars with Medallion and Kiras. I guess that's true. Centaur starting to hit fairly hard, 174 base, and then still keeping all that minus armor. And that gold. In mind, there's the Halberd okay. I was Halberd. talking about. I think it's just a good choice still. It's not as manly, but it's respectable. It's pretty good. And I like that he gets it against the Juggernaut, because I think a lot of players will be like, nah, there's an MKB on the other side, I don't get the evasion. <laughs> I want to say 9 out of 10 times you don't get this item for the evasion. It's a nice bonus, it's a really good side effect, but the disarm is what kicks ass. And knowing that there's an enemy hero right now who is really bothering you with their attacks but doesn't seem to want to build a BKB into your lineup, this is a very valuable pickup. Even if it didn't have evasion at all, I still think this would have been worth the money. That's a good point. I mean, he could pop Blade Fury, but if he's popping Blade Fury in the middle of a fight, that's kind of to your advantage, right? Um... And the ultimate, I guess, cancels that as well. But as far as the right clicking, once that's all done, absolutely. Yeah, both both Jugger and Viper. I was thinking Viper main the direct Jugger also doesn't have. No, I thought you were talking about Jugger the whole time. Yeah, yeah Viper both makes of sense them. Well. That's true. Stampede. Such a good spell. Forty-three hundred gold. What does Gyro go for now? Does he have enough damage? Mm. Does he need a little bit more survivability? I think hybrid Scotty wouldn't necessarily be too shabby. Uh, Abyssal Blade Scotty. could be a nice idea. Sometimes people get that on Gyro because they sometimes getting close. And when you're playing against Juggernaut, who's really in your face, and Kuro will always go for the Gyro. If you Abyssal him, that can change the fight entirely. Right. Uh, what alternatives are there that are really good? Uh, not really that many, right? I don't think Manta's worth it at this point, especially not after the nerf against buildings. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Hmm. For me, it's either, I want to say Scotty or well, maybe Lincoln's. not the absolute worst, but I think I'd prioritize other stuff. 
His Lincoln's good. It's pretty good against the Viper, because if he's in BKB, he can't get Viper struck. That's really oh, nice. Nice deny. The double That's damage rune. An option. We'll see soon enough. I would say for me, it's Lincoln, Scotty, or Abyssal. Abyssal also gives a crap ton of damage, right? So that's really good with, um, oh my, with gonna the rest find of the Yol, who gets four staffs. Like four staffs himself. Through Roche Pit. Secret have to make this point. They lose in this. Roche goes the other way. To do it. He has an ultimate to work with. He really wants to use a Burrow Strike now, along with the slows. They don't have nearly oh, enough damage. This is an awful position for Kuroki. Nice Manto. Kuroki. Look at that stun on the Nidra across the map. Kuroki's dead right off the bat, though. Doesn't even buy back. Make that two. Oracle can't save his teammates anymore. That's three dead so quickly. Misery skewers out of range. They're not going to chase. They're just going to go for the free Roche. Can't blame them here. Aegis and Cheese. In fact, Sedoi trying to take advantage of the cockiness that is Puppy. Though Stump's not going to go through, though. And that kind of seemed like a nonsensical stun from Puppy as well. He blink stuns the Centaur, who they obviously can't go on. He's like the last guy they want to initiate on. And Kuro's like, should I go in, should I not, should I go in, should I not? And then he gets, I think one of his heroes got war. Actually, not the hero, or someone else got war. Then he got caught in a familiar drop. Now he's just dead. The moment he gets caught by anything with this kind of item build, you just don't live. It's one of Juggernaut's weaknesses. Boots of Travel um, just picked up and taking advantage of it right away. Fortification popped for Secret. They're gonna have to buy back these heroes. They're gonna lose three lanes. That's the buy back Kuro. Is this enough for them to even come back though? Puppy? Oh, okay. Puppy's He's dead. dead he right does away. Not, buy back. not enough gold. Four staff RP onto two. Really well done. Call down coming down for Kuroki. Is he gonna go down as well? The Mystic Flare not doing any damage at the moment thanks to the Oracle Ultimate and the Omni Slash on top of it. Is he gonna pop right when he comes back? Yes! Right away he dies! And GG's are called Ultra Kill for Gyro. Make it a fucking rampage, son. GG's 2-1 to one advantage for VP. What a great gameplay. Holy jeez. That was really exceptional. I think this is... This might be their best game of the tournament, to be honest. I and mean, what a time to pull it off. You don't generally just win a game like this against Team Secret. 34 to 9, they made very few mistakes. Also not Secret's strongest showing, but... They have so good decision making, great laning stage. Their mid game was on like absolute top level, and they took all the right objectives at the right time.